Q103, All Bodies Rock Station. We are joined today by the amazing Steve Vai and Nuno Betancourt. Hello, gentlemen. How are we doing this morning? I'm great. Yeah, you're doing amazing. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right. You experiencing winter on the road yet? Oh, yeah. yeah we, uh, with Denver, I think, was the first we hit. There was already snow on the ground, which was kind of exciting living in L.A. It was kind of nice to see some snow. Well, I mean... And there's actually snow here in Kansas City, which is... They tell me very rare. Listen, to be honest, at this point, I, I'd rather see the snow than the flames that's happening in California right now. Oh, uh, without, yeah, without a doubt. Oh, man. Well, gentlemen, I first want to thank you for giving us a couple minutes today. Uh, but we are super excited that we're actually going to have you right here in the Capital Region in just a couple of weeks. You guys are coming to town to play the Palace Theater in Albany on November 29th, bringing the Generation X tour to town. Now, this is not the first time you guys have gone out on this tour, but how did we get so lucky that you got your schedules to sync up again so that you could come and perform with us? Well, the fact that we were able to get our schedules synced up is a marvel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most challenging thing about this tour because everybody is just working animals, you know, like Zach is on tour constantly, Ingbe's on tour, Nuno's got, you know, all these uh, very creative projects going on. So we, you know, that that is the challenge, but since we've done it before and, and it works so well and it's, it's kind of like a break from all the other stuff we got to do. It's almost like a vacation, this tour, because, it, you know, we, we, uh, we all contribute as uh, individuals. You know, we give a couple of songs each individually, and then we kind of, the show builds with this almost relay race kind of a atmosphere of joining each other and then coming together and playing these incredibly lush guitar harmonies with one backing band. So um, it's, not, it's, it's, it's easier than, a, uh, than like going out and doing a solo tour. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, so it's like a piece of cake. So, we, so <laughs> our schedules come, converge a little easier now because it's, we like to put it at the forefront. I mean, Come on, it, Albany was at the top of the list. Right, you know right. absolutely. We're excited to have you guys. Um, you know, I I think almost all of you on the tour, of course, um, it's Steve Vai, Nuno Betancourt, Zach Wilde, Yingve Malmsteen, and Tosin Abasi, um, with ex- the exception of maybe Yingve, have said that your favorite part of the tour is when you guys are off the stage because you guys just have so much fun together. Now, you've put in a couple of shows already on this tour. Are there any notable anecdotes that you guys could share with us that have happened so far this tour? Wow, that's always dangerous. Uh, actually, no. I mean, look, I, it, I don't know, Steve. I mean, uh, I, I think, I think what what you said is is completely correct, though. It's it's one of those things on you know on stage and off stage. It's what we look forward to. Steve had mentioned how we all kind of got our day jobs, you know, and all the things that we've been doing through the years and what we're doing now. And, and this is kind of one of those things that. You know, you, when you're home and your buddies call to get together, and you go to kind of your, your man cave, you know, and you get together and you and you do all these <laughs> these things together, and it's the hang, it's the hang on stage, it's the it's the respect, it's the it's the hang on the bus, it's days off, you know, getting together, going to see the Queen movie, for instance, you know, going to see Bohemian Rhapsody, things like that. That that you know, we take it seriously when we get on stage because we have what is serious fun, and I think that's what. That's what the cool thing why everybody should come to the show. It's not just a touring show where it's like, yeah, we know who Steve I is. You know, he's a, he's a legend. You know, we, we know what Ingve does. We know that Zach plays with Ozzy. But what you haven't seen is when we get together on stage and we collaborate and, and we harmonize together and, and the fun we have doing it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, not, it, it's not probably what most people think it is where we're going after each other. It's more like we, we admire each other to the point where we cannot wait what the other person is going to do and we feed off each other that way. And like you said, as far as stories, it's kind of early in the tour. It's, <laughs> we're about a weekend. And, um, and uh, I don't know if you have anything you want to share, Steve, off stage. But I'm trying to think. You know, we, it, you know, it's been pretty tame so far. Yeah, yeah. We're breaking in. We're breaking yeah, it in. Yeah, we're breaking it in. Nothing oh. too crazy. We'll have to change that in Albany. Uh, yeah, by the time we get to Albany, it's gonna be, we'll have stories for you in person. And it'll be out of control. Um, so you guys uh, just naturally mesh well. Between the two of you and uh, obviously everybody on the tour, you guys have collaborated with literally almost everybody and their mom. But you guys are coming together as kind of the greats of the greats in in the rock genre. And what kind of things on stage do you guys look most forward to? Like playing what piece of somebody else's music do you enjoy getting to be a part of and add your you know own own take to? Well. Go ahead, Steve. I mean, we're, uh-huh. we're going to interrupt each other because I think we're <laughs> fans of all different things going on. But for me, seeing Steve I play with Ingve Malmsteen doing Black Star is is pretty epic. Something like that. That even at even as a as, as a youngster being in my bedroom and and learning probably you know 
trying to work out Black Star, which nobody could ever do, and and also working out, you know, something that Steve came out with, the Attitude song, and then actually believing that in two thousand. In, in 2018, they're going to be on stage doing that together. You would never imagine that as a guitarist. And anybody that comes into that room is going to just be like, they probably had never envisioned it as well. So those things like that are pretty special. Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of little special moments in the show. You know, it, it changes for me. But um, we recorded our Asian tour and uh, cut it together for a record, and the record's coming out in February. And when I was mixing the record, there's all these, like, special n nuggets of moments, you know, where um, the five of us actually harmonize together. That's always a highlight for me, because when you're standing next to these, these mountains, you know, because right. they're <laughs> such giants, really, of players, and, and you hear, you listen, and you hear, and, and it clicks. It's like a... Um, Kind of like makes everyday Christmas, you know. It's, there's this feeling of of harmonization and resonation that's really powerful. But uh, one of the highlights for me on the record when I listen is uh, when when Zach and Nuno actually do this song sideways. I can't I, I can't get enough of it. You know, they, it's a vocal track and they both sing and it's just um, you know when you listen to something over and over and and it or it sounds good at the at the outset. But then you get deep into it, and you get into the personality of the of the performers. And when those performers are committed and in the music, like I, I and I'm not saying this because Nuno was on the phone. I mean, I, I <laughs> mentioned this to him. Well, I, I just grabbed a tissue and wiping tears. No, I'm serious. But when, when I listen to the way he sings this song, it's just I can't get enough of it. It's one of those. It's it's a moment where you realize why. You love music so much, and uh, and I think you know. And what Steve is just saying, you see what he just said. You're going to Generation X to see Nuno and Zach sing a song together, which <laughs> I think that's the beauty of the show. Is it's not just for guitar players; it's for musicians and it's for music lovers that want to hear songs, instrumentals, classical music. I mean, what Tosin is doing is 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 like what mind boggling beautiful. Yeah, insane. King Crimson was doing, but on on crack. It, it, it's insane. <laughs> Um, speaking of the album a little bit, uh, uh, one of the uh, most amazing things for me personally as a music lover is when the uh, album reflects what you're watching live. You know, the show is always something a little bit different when you're seeing it live than you're listening to it recorded. How is the live album coming along, Steve? I know you guys have some sort of pledge campaign where some people get some pretty cool incentives if they uh, would like to contribute to this album being made. The album, of course, called Guitars That Destroyed the World. Can you give us a little update on that? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, the record is done. It's mixed, and it's slated for release, and the, and the pledge campaign has been uh, vital in, in actually the tour and the, uh, the uh, marketing that we're going to be doing on the record. And the record is, it, uh, it, you know, it, I'm, I'm never a good salesman because I always feel like I'm trying to sell something, <laughs> but I, I, I have no problem telling you as a guitarist, um, as a person that loves the guitar, that this record is a gem. It's nothing like it. I mean, there really isn't. And I just can't wait for our fans to hear it because um, it's so rich and unique. And, and the thing is, whenever you're, whenever you're with a band and you're recording something or you're capturing something, you're not just capturing the music, but you're, you're capturing the energy of the band and the, and the camaraderie. And, and we're very we're very uh, respectful of each other. We really like each other, you know. And and which is kind of you know. But when we put, when I put this thing on, people were like, well, "You're not serious, boy. You're going to get these you know, all these guys and 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 get them to play together because they're all very powerful personalities." And I just you know I just thought, yeah yeah absolutely. And I, they're all pros. They all get it, and they and they got the picture. And it's the, all that is. And we've been in the business so long, you know, and we, we, coming out on a tour like this, <clears throat> we just accept each other, and, and we, it, it's a great time, and that's captured on this record. So this record has got not only the music, it's got the respect and the, and the, the joy of, of our craft together right in it. 
That's awesome. Plus, you get to like relive the show over and over again. You know, once you hear yeah. it uh, another time, you pick up different pieces. And I think that's what's really awesome that you, you're going to interpret that into the live record that people can own everywhere soon, we hope. Yep. So you guys have uh, worked with a wide array of musicians. There have been people that um, have influenced you throughout your career. And now, um, a lot of times when we're talking to the new up-and-coming mus- musicians, they are listing you guys as their influences. I know I talked recently with uh, Nita Strauss, who's playing with Alice Cooper, and she spoke very highly of you, Steve. Is it kind of weird for you guys to like be in that position now? Like When you first started out, did you think, oh, I'm going to be the guy that uh, everybody learns from? from and looks up to <laughs> go for it no no <laughs> I, I i don't know look you know i'm 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 with her you know uh, uh i'm i'm i say it every night on stage you know before i sit down and do this acoustic piece i say how incredible is it to be you know uh, an immigrant in this country you know what i mean coming over being born in portugal ending up in hudson massachusetts and 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 yes wanting and listening to my heroes and and yeah, you have your string of heroes, uh, you know, your, your Jimmy Pages and Brian May and Van Halen. But for me, it was also Steve Vai, you know, and to be actually sharing the stage with them. I always tell people, look, don't, don't ever, don't ever give up on that because you can be that person one day. And and it is all, all, always an odd thing. It's you know, it's 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 incredible feeling when somebody comes up and says, hey, when we do these meet meet and greets, for instance, that that we're doing on this tour, and they come up and they say one simple thing like. I started playing guitar because of you. It, 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 there's an element that's unco- that makes you uncomfortable, but it's very proud and because it's it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe, but it's it makes you feel really good that you could have inspired somebody like that. You know, to start. Yeah. We are really excited to have you guys in town at November 29th, the Palace Theater in Albany. Generation X is going down. Tickets on sale and available. You can grab yours at q103albany.com. Uh, just one last question before I let you guys get on with your day. What can we expect from this U.S. run that may be a little bit different from the last run that you guys did across the states? Well, we've bonded more <laughs> as people, and that, and that uh, translates into the music. But, and we changed the show up a bit. You know, there's some, everybody's doing a couple of different tracks. Um, but we're just, we're just more comfortable in our skin, and that, that, that hits the audience uh, very uh, powerfully. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to have you guys in town. Steve Vai, Nuno Betancourt, part of Generation X, along with Zach Wilde, Yingve Malmstein, and Tosin Abasi. November 29th, the Palace Theater in Albany. Get your tickets now, q103albany.com.